You're a superhero Alright, so how's it going guys? Today we're back with a brand new Fortnite video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys the best controller settings you can have on Fortnite for Xbox, PC and PS4. PC only if you play with a controller but for Xbox and PS4 you have to play with a controller. I personally play on PS4 but I'm gonna be showing you right now the controller settings. To add on to that, Season 8 just dropped and there's a lot of stuff that has changed since the previous seasons and these are the best controls you wanna have. And Epic Games keeps updating the controller options so basically makes it easier for controller players to have a chance and compete with PC players that play on mouse and keyboard. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so we're starting off with the wireless controller sensitivity X, which I have it on 0.6, and the wireless controller sensitivity Y, which I also have on 0.6. This is basically the sensitivity when you move the thumbsticks around, how when you look around, how high is your sensitivity, how fast you look around. So basically, 0.6 is a very decent one. Next up we have the wireless control target sensitivity, which is basically when you aim down sight and you shoot with a shotgun or an AR. I have it on 0.43 and I think this is the best sensitivity to use because with shotguns you need to really be fast and hit that headshots and also with ARs you need to be accurate. And if you have it lower it will be too slow for you to hit the headshots and if you have it higher it will be too fast and you're gonna miss all your shots. The wireless scope sensitivity, I put it on 0.65, which is basically the same as the wireless targeting sensitivity, but basically when you aim with scoped weapons like a sniper or something. And I put this a bit higher, because if you want to snipe, like you need a bit faster sensitivity to snipe. That's personally my opinion, but you can put 0.43, but I think 0.65 is better. Then we have the wireless control building sensitivity. This is basically the sensitivity X and Y as before, but when you build, like when you press the circle or whatever you control you have to build. So basically you can build really, really faster. This is a new, this is a new control added like recently, a month, some months ago by Fortnite, which is basically really, really helpful because you can build really fast and not screw up your sensitivity. So I have this on 1.8, which is, I think is like, you should start with 1.5 and then gradually put on 1.8, but I have it on 1. Because building is really important for and you really need to be building fast. But for starters, I guess you should put on 1.5 and then gradually put on 1.8 and then that's the best, I think. So the next one's invert view, uh, invert uh, aircraft controls, just leave them like that. Anonymous mode is basically that the players cannot see your nickname. Basically, streamers use that so they don't get stream sniped, but I don't really care about that. Hide other players' names, yeah. All, all this is like, doesn't affect the game. So sprint by default, no. Sprint cast is reloading off. Tap to surge, on obviously. To toggle targeting off. Reset building choice. So this is basically when you place a wall and then switch to stairs. And then it will reset back to the wall again. Which basically everyone uses that and I think it's really, really helpful. So yeah, I think you should have that on. Aim assist, obviously on. Without aim assist, you cannot do anything on controller. Edit mode aim assist, I also have that on because it helps you edit faster. Turbo building, I strongly recommend that on. Basically, it allows you to build even faster. Turbo deleting creative mode, yeah, just have it on, no one really cares about those. Auto material change, uh, controller auto run. Controller auto run, basically this is when you press sprint and just runs by itself. Actually like that because sometimes when you are not focusing you just and the storm is coming and you wanna like, or you're just running from the storm, you just leave it and it auto runs by itself. So actually like that. Across platform part is on. Yeah, all this stuff don't really matter. So just have them off as I do. Build a pro, build immediately. So if you have build a pro, the setting on the combat controls will show you right after. You build immediately. This is a must have if you play on builder pro, which I play on builder pro. Controller edit whole time, just put this at 0 0.2. Vibration off. Basically, vibration is nice to have, but basically it can ruin your shots when you're shooting and it vibrates and it moves your hands and it can ruin your shots. So if you want to shoot accurately and be more accurate, I would recommend you have vibration off. And the record plays and all that, yeah, no one really cares about about the replays. Record replays and all that, just have them off. Okay, so now we have the combo controls. I play on Builder Pro, which I think is the best one. And these are my controls right here, just like copy them down. And I think I haven't changed any of them. For just, I think these are the default Builder Pro controls. Basic Builder Pro is really good because it allows you to build faster. And also, if you have the correct settings for Builder Pro and building faster from the ones I showed you before, you build even more faster. And allows you basically to compete with PC players that play on mouse and keyboard, which is really, really nice. So yeah, that was it for the controls video. Just make sure you guys copy those controls down as I have them right now, and it will help you out a lot. I honestly had different control settings, and I played with the sensitivities around, and also saw some online videos on how to fix the settings. And 
still I, I couldn't play but with these settings I actually play really really good. And it's actually amazing how sensitivity changes so much the gameplay because you have a too high you might not be able to hit even one shot or if you have too low you might not even be able to hit the shots because you're not going to be fast enough. But you have that those sensitivity settings I have right now that are up on your screen. These are actually the best ones. So yeah that was it for this video. Catch you guys on the next Fortnite video. Peace.